In the present period, reptiles have received a bad rep since they aren't nearly as numerous and diverse as they were 100 or 200 million years ago, and because many people are afraid of their pointed fangs, forked tongues, and or scaly skin. However, you can't deny the fact that they are among the most fascinating animals on the planet. Here are 10 justifications. 10 interesting facts about reptile. 1. Amphibians developed into reptiles. It's true that this is a terrible simplification, but it's reasonable to argue that between 400-300 million years ago, fish developed into tetrapods, tetrapods into amphibians, and amphibians evolved into reptiles. And the story doesn't end there. The rhapsids, which we now know to have evolved into mammals around 200 million years ago, around the same time that archosaurs, which we now know to have developed into dinosaurs, then dinosaurs, which we now know to have evolved into birds, about 50 million years later. Because their more evolved descendants outcompete them in different ecological niches, reptiles in between this may help to explain why they are relatively scarce today. 2. There are four main groups of reptiles. The number of different types of reptiles that are still alive today can be counted on one hand. Crocodilians, which are the closest living relatives of both modern birds and extinct dinosaurs, to Ataras, strange creatures that are currently confined to a few isolated islands of New Zealand. Turtles, which are distinguished by their slow metabolisms and protective shells. Squamates, including snakes and lizards, which shed their skins and have wide opening jaws, just to highlight how far. Reptiles have fallen, 65 million years ago, pterosaurs, which once dominated the skies, and marine reptiles, who once ruled the oceans, were extinct. Three, reptiles are animals with cold blood. Ectothermia, or being cold-blooded, is one of the key traits that sets reptiles apart from mammals and birds. Ectothermia is the term for an organism that depends on the weather outside to maintain its internal physiology. Snakes and crocodiles physically fuel up by soaking up the sun during the day. At night, when there is no energy source present, they become very lethargic. Ectothermic metabolisms have the benefit of requiring significantly less food to maintain body temperature than comparable sized birds and mammals. The drawback is that they can't maintain a constant high level of activity, particularly at night. Four, scaly skin is found on all reptiles. Some people are uncomfortable with the rough, slightly foreign feel of reptile skin. However, the fact is that these scales represent a significant evolutionary advance. This layer of protection allowed vertebrate animals to walk away from bodies of water for the first time without worrying about drying out. Some reptiles, like snakes, shed their skin completely as they grow, whereas others do so in flakes. Snake leather, for example, is exclusively cosmetic when used for cowboy boots and is much less functional than multipurpose cowhide scents, although being rather robust, reptile skin is relatively thin. Five, there are not many reptiles that eat plants. Some of the largest reptiles on Earth during the Mesozoic era including the multi-ton Triceratops and Diplodocus, were avid plant eaters. Strangely enough, today's reptiles only eat vertebrates and invertebrates, with the exception of crocodiles, snakes, lizards, and tuataras, both of which are only distantly related to their dinosaur progenitors. Some aquatic reptiles, such as saltwater crocodiles, have also been known to swallow boulders, which function as ballast and weigh down their bodies so they can surprise victims by springing out of the water.
6. Three chambered hearts are common in reptiles. Three chambers are present in the hearts of snakes, lizards, turtles, and tortoises, which is an improvement over the two chambers present in the hearts of fish and amphibians, but a distinct disadvantage when compared to the four chambers present in the hearts of birds and mammals. Three chambered hearts have the drawback of allowing the mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood, which is a somewhat ineffective method of supplying oxygen to bodily tissues. The four chambered hearts of crocodilians, the reptile family most closely linked to birds, likely give them a crucial metabolic advantage when snapping at food. Seven, animals on Earth are not all intelligent reptiles. With a few notable exceptions, reptiles are generally about as intelligent as you'd expect them to be, less intelligent than the average mammal, but more cognitively developed than fish and amphibians. In general, rats, cats, and hedgehogs have encephalization quotients, the ratio of the size of the brain to the rest of the body, that are around one-tenth that of reptiles. Again, Crocodilians stand out as an anomaly since they have some basic social abilities and were intelligent enough to survive the KT extinction, which wiped off their dinosaur cousins. 8. The first amniotes were reptiles. An important turning point in the evolution of life on Earth was the emergence of amniotes, or vertebrate creatures that lay their eggs on land or incubate their fetuses in the female's body. The amphibians that evolved before the reptiles were unable to colonize the Earth's continents because they had to deposit their eggs in water. Again, it's natural to view reptiles in this context as a transitional stage between fish and amphibians, previously known as the lower vertebrates by naturalists, and birds and mammals, the higher vertebrates, with more derived amniotic reproductive systems. 9. In some reptiles, temperature affects sex. We currently only know of one vertebrate group, reptiles, that exhibits temperature-dependent sex determination, TDSD, during the embryo's development. The temperature outside the egg can affect the hatchling's sex. What benefit does TDSD provide in terms of adaptation for turtles and crocodiles who experience it? Nobody is certain. At certain stages of their life cycles, some species may benefit from having more of one sex than the other. TDSD may also be an evolutionary holdover from 300 million years ago, when reptiles first began to dominate the planet. 10. The openings in the skulls of reptiles can be used to classify them. The number of openings, or fenestri, in the skulls of reptiles can be used to understand their evolutionary history, though it is not frequently used when discussing living species. The pelicosaurs and therapsids of the later Paleozoic era were synapsids, with one opening, all other reptiles, including dinosaurs, pterosaurs, and marine reptiles, are diapsids, with two openings. Turtles and tortoises are anapsid reptiles, with no openings in their skulls. 